So if you have to add charge to a CO2 rack, first step is how much gas in there? Do you have enough vapor inside there that you can charge liquid? If you do, if you're above that triple point, which is like 60, 61 PSIG or around 4.2 bar, then you can add straight liquid. Your next step is make sure you have the right fitting. So this fitting here is a CGA 320. Inside there, there is a gasket. And so what happens, this is connected to a set of transcritical hoses and a set of transcritical gauges. And this is tied up. And what it is, is that it's going right into your liquid line. So if you have enough vapor in there, you can start charging liquid. Slowly charge, slowly open the valves because you can drop the pressure really quick in your tanks. So if it's the first time you're doing it, take your time the first time you're doing it. I'd love to hear your question in your comments on how you charge. Where do you charge? Do you charge in the liquid line? Do you charge in your suction line? There's a lot of different ways people do it, but you need to make sure you don't flood back those compressors. Love to hear your questions in the comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.